Put your glasses up, put your glasses up, a toast to me. Welcome to a toast to the men with your guy SD Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Go ahead and go to a toastermen.com website and check out what we have to offer. Man, I get a lot of complaints and a lot of gripes from brothers. And when I say brothers, I'm talking about black men in particular who say their women, their black women are not supportive either of their career or their entrepreneur endeavors. I get that a lot, man. I get it a lot. And I talk to a lot of black women also who try to rationalize or bring some logic as to why they're not supportive. And the main reason is, their reason is, well, maybe they are not or these women are not passionate about what the husband is passionate about. Maybe they don't like what the husband is into. They don't have an interest into what the husband is into, whether it be his career or his business, his entrepreneur spirit or his entrepreneur endeavor. And I thought about that. I thought about that. And there's so many things wrong with that, that mindset. Listen, brothers, if a woman is not supportive of your business or your career while you guys are dating, dating, that's not the one for you. Don't ever think she's going to become something different when you guys move in together or get married. It doesn't work like that. She is who she is. She's showing you who she is. If you think she's going to be something different once you guys get together, move in together, don't buy it. Do not believe that. She'll show you everything she is while you guys are dating and courting. You just got to pay attention and be logical. Don't be led by your emotions. Be logical. She'll ask you, what can she do to help? She'll ask you, what can she do to support? Sometimes she may not ask. She'll just get in where she fit in, and you'll notice that she's being supportive. She'll find where there's a need, where there's an opening. Where, where you are vulnerable and she'll try to seal that and block that off and be supportive. Uh, but if you think she's going to change when you guys get together, you're, you're, you're mistaken. You're greatly mistaken. But for the women, I have to say this. Most women, most women are at jobs they do not like. We can even say people, but we'll, we'll stick with women. Most women are doing things they do not like. Most women are working at jobs they're not passionate about. Most women are at jobs that are not challenging. They just do it because it provides for them. And a lot of times it doesn't even provide, provide greatly. Just their daily bread. So if a woman is willing to work a job she's not passionate about, she doesn't really like or love, just to survive. Why wouldn't she do that for the man she says she loves? That could potentially provide something than her daily bread. Her cup might flow it over or run it over. If they come together and really put all their energy into that business or that entrepreneur endeavor, she will receive more. You know, the seed she plants into her own household, into her husband, the return would be so much greater than the return at someone else's business. A lot of times she doesn't even know who she works for. Maybe the guy, you know, is, is dead who founded the company. She's never even shook his hand or met him. But she'll do that for him. She'll add to his legacy. She'll invest time and energy and money into his legacy, into his DNA, but not her own husband. I'm telling you, brothers, many, many women think like this. And I think it's a brainwashing, particularly with the black woman. I think it's a brainwashing 
and it's something that I don't think that's spoken about often or at all that there's this subtle competition there's this this thing where she doesn't really want to be submissive how many women can actually say and feel good about saying quote I work for my husband I work for my husband how many black women would be secure in saying that I work for my husband but they're okay saying I work for Bank of America I work for Dell computers I work for Walmart I work for you know whoever man they're okay saying that but I think most women have a problem saying I work for my husband and giving the same support to their husband as they do to a stranger you know women black women really need to check themselves on that they really do and that's going to take some self-awareness that's going to take some shadow work to see why do I feel this way why do I think this way where do I get this and really focusing on that and tackling it and straighten that out but I hear this a lot from brothers and I hear sisters trying to justify why they don't support their spouses and the main reason is they're not passionate about what he's passionate about yeah that's just not a good reason for me yeah yeah brothers but you know you, you can't change anyone's mind you know don't argue if you're already in that situation you know only bring logic to the table if she won't listen to logic uh, man you got some decisions to make but to avoid even being in that situation man you just got to pay attention pay attention and uh, make sure she follows through on whatever she says even if she says she's supportive the follow through is greater than the campaigning and so uh yeah man we got some work to do I and mean, right now i'm specifically talking to the black community you know i don't do that a lot only a few times have I addressed something uh, geared towards the black community, but I'm seeing this a lot. And from my other brothers, my white brothers, my Hispanic brothers, I'm seeing something different from their spouses. Um, and I think it's because our history in America, you know, I don't see it from people who uh, come from Africa, who, who are uh, Native Africans. I don't see that from them but it's something with the african-american where we're always into it you know the black man the black woman even either openly or from a subtle aspect and we can never get ahead like that now is this every african uh, uh african-american couple or black couple no no but we're not going to focus on that small pool the exception we're going to focus on the rule the majority we need to fix the majority so you know like someone saying it's not every black couple yeah that's just a distraction so you don't have to deal with the bigger problem of course it's not every single black couple that's common sense uh but there is a problem i'm telling you and brothers are complaining brothers are tired and a lot, like I said, a lot of sisters are trying to justify why they don't support. And the reason is they're not into it. They're not passionate about it. But they're at jobs they're not passionate about. They're at jobs that they're not reaping huge benefits from. But I'm telling you, if you put that energy behind a man who's focused, who has a plan, man, we could do some great things. But hey, shout out to my cousin. Shout out to my cousin. Uh, Nisi, her husband uh, has a barbecue stand, a barbecue truck, a food truck, and they set up shop in Midlothian, Texas, and they go to different spots. And he does quite well. They do quite well. And she's up on the weekend with them, uh, late at night. She's there side by side with them, handing out this barbecue prepping this barbecue he does the cooking of the barbecue of course uh but she does you know the other stuff the prepping uh just she's she support she's working for him and guess what that's not even her thing 
She's not even passionate about it like that, but she's passionate about the family. She's passionate about him doing something independently. She's passionate about that. She's passionate about the money that she sees coming into the home. And she was telling me the other day she wants to start her own thing, but she just doesn't know what she wants to start. But I salute her for not knowing what she wants to start as an entrepreneur, but still being supportive of her guy, even though that's not her thing. Man, you got to salute that. And I hope that brother, I got to talk to that brother. I hope that brother appreciates that and, uh, you know, really values that, you know, because you can't really put a price on that. But, yeah, man, we got some work to do. And, brothers, if you get that woman who supports, if you get that woman who's just going to get in where she fit in and, and try to seal up that, that opening, that hole, that vulnerability, uh, reward her. Don't take advantage of her. Don't take her for granted. Reward her greatly. Reward her, man. And so uh, you don't want to take advantage of that, man. Take it for granted. So, yeah, man, we both got some work to do. But, sisters, if you're going to give a stranger another man that support, who's probably a white man, nothing against my white brothers, but I got to call it like it is, you give your man that, that same support. You give that black brother that same support. We got to get our priorities together. We got to reprogram our minds and our spirits and get back on track. As always, from me to you, love, peace.